when I woke up this morning, I did not anticipate talking about two different situations where two different VTubers were doxxed. But that's uh, what we got going on, man. Let's check it out. Production Kawaii. They say, important announcement regarding violation of privacy of our VTuber. Side note, she also, the VTuber in question also talks about this. We'll see her statement next. Thank you for continuous support of us and our belonging VTubers. Currently, some people are violating the privacy and safety of Isla Coleman by attempting to obtain and disclose her personal info, such as her name, address, etc. Isla feels deeply, excuse me, feels threatened and deeply hurt. We are providing emotional care and support to Isla, but if we determine that we cannot ensure safety and security, we have no choice but to stop her activities. Violating the privacy and safety of others is unacceptable. We strongly condemn such acts and will take strict response. In addition, as a result of discussion with the lawyer, we have decided to take both criminal and civil legal actions. We will continue to provide a safe and secure work environment to our VTubers and would like to continue to create and distribute content that you can enjoy. We appreciate your continuous understanding and cooperation. As of recording, the announcement getting over 81,000 views and over 1,100 likes. The VTuber herself, Isla Coleman here, saying regarding this statement and posting a twit longer, which reads, Hello everyone, this is Isla Coleman. I'm not good at talking about serious stuff, but I think it's important for me to come forward with my perspective on what's been going on. I spent nearly two years as part of Production Kauai, and while I've had so many amazing experiences, this is something that's been weighing me down for quite some time now. I may not say it often, but I do care about my fans. I've opened up to you and talked about so many things, and I've expected my feelings to be respected. But to some of these people who've called themselves my fans, have pried into my personal business, ignoring boundaries that I very clearly established, and causing problems for me and the people I care about, is a breach of that very trust I've placed in them. I put in a lot of work to make my streams a positive environment so everyone can have fun together, but dealing with this invasion of my right to my privacy has made it difficult for me to keep smiling through it, even when I have so many things to be happy and excited about. I want my community to be a safe place for all of you to be in, as well as for me to interact with. As a creator, I'm entitled to my personal life, and there are things that I am not obligated to share while I am in Kauai. I'm very disappointed that these coal knights whose names and contributions I remember from my chat and community, have been sharing my personal information like it's a trophy to be proud of, when in reality has greatly impacted my mental well-being. So I'm presuming Cole Knights is like the name she calls her fans, essentially. So we'll talk about that more in a moment. She also says, I want to enjoy myself and my time with all of you. I can only hope that going forward, we can build a community filled with mutual understanding and respect. I'd like to put this behind me and bring you all joy with my content, and I hope you'll understand the measure that I'll be taking to ensure I and my audience can feel safe and happy. Isla then added this as well, saying, it's hard to process everything. It's even harder to accept the fact that the people behind this are coal knights that I know and interact with in chat, Twitter posts, community games, and many more. I can't count how many times I cried during the investigation reading receipts. If you'd like to consider supporting Isla, you can find her at Isla underscore Kawaii. I'll have the ad in the description for you to copy paste. But yeah, this whole situation is immensely disturbing. And uh, I'm already not in a great mood because I talked about right before this one, another girl, VTuber, who was doxxed and massively harassed. And then seeing this right after, it's like, dude, what's going on? And a couple days ago, I talked about Gura and what she was having to deal with with a portion of her fan base and what they were saying about her. And then again, now we got this going on with Isla. These girls are just trying to stream and entertain people. I don't understand why people are doing this to them, especially their own fans. These days, everybody knows what it's like to have haters. For these girls, though, like, this is probably worse than just having a hater. When their own fans are the ones doxing them and, like, bragging about what they did, it is disturbing on a different level, so much so that I actually feel gross just talking about this stuff and reporting on it. So I apologize if my coverage has not been great on this topic. Like I mentioned, not in a great mood after that other segment. And then just like all this VTuber stuff lately. It's just sad and messed up, dude. So let these girls try to entertain you. If you don't like it, just tune out. And if you like them, maybe treat them a little better. I don't know. Crazy thought, right? I'm gonna leave it there, man. I wish Isla all the best. I hope this resolves for her in the best way possible. And I hope the portion of her fan base, which is probably by far the majority, not doing all this stuff, this toxic stuff, you know, I, I hope they're able to also get through this positively. Same for Gur and all the VTubers we talked about lately, man, and, and their communities. I hope everyone's able to work this out in the best way possible. And I'll leave it there. Thank you guys for understanding. Again, if uh, my coverage was a little not great on this one, rough stuff lately, man. Thank you for your time, though. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the comments and in the next segment tomorrow. We'll see what the news brings.